does your Minecraft frame rate suck on Bedrock Edition? Well, if it does, I can show you some fixes for both NVIDIA and AMD systems. So the first fix I'm going to show is only for NVIDIA cards, and specifically RTX for this first part. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to my Discord server, discord.gg slash swim, and you're going to go into the software channel, and then you're going to see all these threads, and you're going to find the swim dragon thread, and you're going to click the link, which is going to take you here. And this is a really small program that I wrote that does a little bit of a driver hack. Or not really a hack, it's just a fix. And it's going to say not normally ran. You're just going to keep it anyways. And you're going to run it. Windows is going to, it's an unknown publisher, so it doesn't like it. Just run it anyways. You're going to need admin since this is a driver level software. Because all we're doing is editing a profile in our NVIDIA driver that disables ray tracing. So it'll, the output should hopefully look like this. It's going to check if you have an RTX, it's going to modify the driver, it's going to save it. So now that we've done that, I'll say we can close the window, so we're going to close the window. And we have to restart our game. Alright, so now we're back on, and as you can see, my FPS has improved a bit. It's gone from like 60 to in the hundreds now. Yeah, you can see my FPS now, I'm getting like 300 FPS. So that is definitely quite an improvement from Render Dragon's 40 FPS to swim dragons 300 fps the fix i did show only works for rtx gpus because we're modifying the nvidia driver's rtx portion of the settings so yeah sorry if you can't do it but there is another thing we can do that any nvidia gpu can do meaning the gt and gtx series they can do this too so what you want to do is you want to go to your control panel for nvidia and in your 3D settings, it should just already automatically be open to this. In your manage 3D settings, you first, obviously, you want to make sure you're using your graphics card for everything globally. And there's going to be this setting called low latency mode. You want to make sure this is off. And basically, that's the fix for input delay for NVIDIA cards. And to explain this program that I made a little bit better, obviously, I've got the code you can read right here. It's just the very basic C++. So this pro this program has been around for years, actually, and it gets updated a ton. It's called the Profile Inspector, and you can just download it and release this. It'll be a zip, then you extract it like normal. So basically, this is what the program does. is The way NVIDIA drivers work is there's just profiles for every game, like ever, and they're all just settings, basically. What you want to do is you want to go to the Minecraft profile, and you want to find DXR, and you want to set it to disabled, and then you apply changes. So what that did is exactly what this is doing, just manually and slower. All right, so now for the fixes for AMD users, and if you just don't have a GPU at all, and you're using integrated CPU graphics. So what you can do is obviously the most well-known, is just download a 32-bit version of the game. Now... You can get this in my Discord server. We have a repo from Ambient, which is just all the binaries, just every version of the game that's 32-bit and doesn't have Render Dragon in it. Now, this isn't the best solution because Minecraft servers are obviously updating and they're going to stop supporting these protocols. So this is a limited time solution, even though it's lasted like two years now, actually. But yeah, you can just download the AppX and install it. If you want to do this a different way, is there's this program called Onyx Version Switcher, which is programmed by Onyx. Just open it. And what this is, is... So, this is just another way to download. It's probably actually a better way, too, because it has all the way up until the latest version. And another thing you can do if you're an AMD user is you can go into your... It's like the AMD uh, driver. And there's this one vsync setting, and you can change it to always off. And that sort of fixes the problem. But if you download Onyx Client, um, there's going to be a module that you can enable. There's two of them, I think. Both for vsync. And if you enable both of them, it's basically hacking some signature in memory that forces vsync to always be off. Because for some reason, Bedrock is just programmed to always have it on if you have an AMD GPU. I'm not sure if it's intentional or a bug. 
I wouldn't be surprised if it's a bug knowing Bedrock at this point. So those are all the fixes I know for Render Dragon right now. Hopefully at least one of them improved your FPS. But yeah, thanks for watching. Subscribe, I guess. See ya.